My name is George Martirano. I'm the son of Long John Martirano. My father's reputation was made in the meth business. We made a lot of money. Millions and millions and millions. <laughs> you don't become Long John by selling ice cream. It all started from our vending company right in the neighborhood. So it supplies, you know, pinball machines, jukeboxes, cigarette machines, to restaurants and other businesses. He was a moneymaker. He was just unbelievable. It wasn't a week go by that he didn't come up with another idea how to make money. Philadelphia is a blue color town. Meth was the preferred drug of choice for a lot of different segments of the community. Boom, it exploded. Long John offered to supply me with bags of a gram, of a half a gram, of small quantities you sell person to person. Meth was such an addictive drug, you got a line waiting around the corner to buy this. Long John was sneaking his drug dealing on the side, on the down low. That's why he recruited kids like me, so it couldn't get back to the other mob guys. Long John would pay maybe seven, eight grand for the pound, cut it, put it out on the street, gross 30. He'd walk away with $23,000 in three days. Long John settles in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, which is a very upscale suburban community. And he became a very wealthy man. He had summer homes. He would go for long vacations with the family. He was flashy jewelry, flashy cars, money. Everything in Long John's life was money. But there. There's something that money can't buy. He played himself up as the godfather, the Don, the boss of bosses. But in fact, he wasn't a made guy. By becoming a member of the mob, it is status. It adds a special gravitas to your name. That's definitely Long John's goal in life. That's why he had to impress Angelo Bruno. Angelo Bruno, who emerged as the boss in 1959, was a, a businessman. Angelo Bruno was an entrepreneur. Angelo Bruno understood the idea was to make money, not headlines. Long John was an earner. That's why Bruno liked him. He and Bruno kind of spoke the same language. It's about money.
I remember one time we were having lunch. It was me and my father and uh, the boss, Angelo Bruno, at the table. A big money guy on the streets. Came out with a wisecrack. Your boss got very upset. My father picked up the sugar container and That guy will never say wisecrack again. I think it cost him thousands of dollars to get his teeth done. Attempted killings, beatings. My father would get up and do it himself. And everyone knew that's what kind of man he was. Angelo Bruno is one of the old school mafia guys who said drugs are forbidden. And he saw drugs as a dirty business. Heavy law enforcement attention. And if you deal drugs, you're violating the principles of our organization. In the mob, you cannot sell drugs. If you got caught with drugs, you're going to get the death penalty. 